Hi, I'm Steve Hayes, and we had a question at the banquet a few years ago. When was the last time the Major League Baseball came to Portsmouth, Ohio? We did our research and our homework, and we have a video answer for you tonight. It happened in 1958 when the Cincinnati Reds played the Washington Senators. It was April 10th, uh, 1958. Uh, the Civic Forum had brought the Reds in. At that point, Major League teams would do uh, promotional stops on their way back from Florida, getting ready for opening day. But this was the last time they actually ever came to Portsmouth, Ohio but not without some drama included. And the reason I, I got so interested in this, I had uh, seen Frank Robinson uh, do a speech one time talking about a flashpoint in his life when he actually got beamed. Turned out that the day he got beamed was right here in Portsmouth. And uh, Roger Gray, who is our sports director, uh, happened to have been there that day as a young child. He remembers more than I do, as uh, Roger remembers the day the Reds stood still. I was 13 years old and just uh, in awe of uh going over there and being able to see my heroes, the uh, Cincinnati Reds, my favorite player, Johnny Temple, and and all the uh, Reds, uh, Roy McMillan, Gus Bell, George Crow, the whole gang, Ed Bailey, they were all there. And everything was certainly going well, and uh, I was really enjoying myself in all the situation. And then all of a sudden, Frank Robinson's up there, and then you, you could hear that plunk when he hit, hit his head and then he was down and he was certainly out and uh, uh, they brought towels in you could see the blood on the towels and again i'm not sure how long it was between the time he got hit then the ambulance from uh, uh, melchers got there and uh, then of course took him to mercy hospital the blow raised a huge red lump on the left side of his face between his eye and his ear at the time manager bernie tebbets first baseman george crow both went to of the hospital with Frank. And by the way, the Reds ended up winning two to nothing that day on an Ed Bailey home run late in the game that bounced on top of the fence and over to give the Reds at least uh, a little bit of a moral victory that day.
Well, we hope that you enjoyed seeing Major League Baseball through the eyes of a small town and a lens of a brownie movie camera. And I'd like to thank my dad, Earl Hayes, who has since passed away, for putting up with me that day, all the drama on the field, and, of course, trying to take pictures at the same time. Uh, dad, I guess I know we would have had more footage of that special day in Portsmouth, Ohio, but I know with all the excitement that ensued, how hard it was remembering to wind up the camera. <laughs> we hope that you all enjoyed it.